Hello, today we're going to be talking about lapping in valves. If you're doing a cylinder head rebuild, it's pretty likely that you're going to end up lapping in your valves. What exactly are we talking about? Obviously, you've got your valve and you've got your seat. Lapping in the valve is basically grinding it so the two are perfectly matched to form a decent seal. What are you going to need? Not a lot really. Specialist tools wise, it's a pretty simple job that you can do at home. We've got a lapping stick, a wooden stick with two suction cups on either end. What do the suction cups do? They stick to the end of the valve like so pretty much that you can just turn it and grind it into the seat. So here we go. We've got our valve stuck to our lapping stick. These seats are in pretty good condition, so that's what you're looking for. You're gonna be looking for pitting in the seat, pitting on the valve, the valve face. If it's in good condition, then a light lap is all that's really needed. So to start off with, we get our grinding paste. This is a pretty common brand, and what's clever about this tin is at either end, you've got two different compounds. You've got a coarse compound at this end, or a fine compound at this end. Because these are in pretty good condition, and I'll check to see if the seal's any good, we're gonna go straight in with a fine compound. So what I like to do is I do three little touches of the compound, like so. Pop the valve and stick together, make sure they're nicely joined. Pop the valve in the hole, and we're gonna start mapping in. I like to do a couple of seconds Lift it up, rotate, and go back down. This sort of ensures that if you've got any high points that they're more likely to get worn away, and you're going to get a decent seal all the way around your valve. As I say, dependent on the wear, if there's any corrosion on either of the seat or the valve face, depends how much you're going to have to do this. But we're in pretty good shape here. So I don't think it's going to take too much. So after a while of doing that, we're going to want to check to see how well we have got on. A little bit of blue roll, you want to clean all that grinding paste off. First we'll clean off the valve, then we'll go over and we'll clean off the seat. Right, so we've lapped that first valve in, we've given everything a good clean up, so now we're going to give it a visual inspection. As we can see on the valve here, we've got a nice grey line going all the way around. So that's suggesting it's all good. We're then going to move into the valve seat and have a look around there as well, and we've got a lovely thin grey line. So that's going to suggest that we've got a lovely ceiling surface between the seat and the valve. Here at Hack Engineering we go a little bit further, so rather than just a visual inspection, once we've lapped all our valves in, we are going to use a little widget called a vacuum tester. All this is doing is applying a vacuum pressure onto the port, and it's going to show us if there's any air leaks. Now, obviously, there's only sort of two places that any can come out, and that's the port, which we're going to block with this pad, or it's through the valve seat face. So we've got our vac tester. We're going to block off that inlet port now, and we're going to see what happens. As we can see on the dial there, we've got a pretty big loss of vacuum. So our next port of call is to pop valve number two out and lap that in as well, and see what results we get afterwards. Okay, so let's just lap that valve in, occasionally turning it. Popping it out. Likewise as the last one, giving everything a good clean and a visual inspection. As you can see, nice thin grey line all the way around the valve, suggesting that we've got a perfect mating surface. Clean the valve seat up as well. Now, if you haven't got a back tester at home, you know you can pretty much go off something sort of visual. So we're looking at it, good face, we've got a cracking face there, and really that's, for most things, that's going to be perfect. We're going to pop that back in. Hopefully we're going to see a slight improvement on the last. So we've got the port off. Oh, perfect. As you can see, we're right round, we're off the gauge, and for a twin, a twin valve sort of port such as this, that's a very good reading. So I'm happy with that. We're now crack on and get the rest of them done. So as we saw there, obviously we've got a fantastic seal, so there's no need to lap them in anymore. I'm happy that we've got a decent mating face between that valve and that valve. So all we've got to do now is crack on and get the rest done, and then we can get this head refaced and carry on with our engine build. Thanks for watching the video. Obviously don't forget to tune in to more of our stuff, subscribe to the channel, and we'll, um, we'll see you later.